Monday 23rd of March, start of a second week of COVID-19 isolation. I hope you're doing all right. Now, today is obviously when um, uh, I'm asking for the Hardy Weinberg sheet to be finished. And some of you have finished it, and some of you haven't contacted me at all, and some of you have said you have no idea what those questions about is the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium uh, continuing questions. So let's have a look at the middle two, three and four, of the, the worksheet and see what happens with those. So when I read these, I've got my handy laptop here, rabbit's ears can be either short or floppy, where short ears are dominant over floppy ears. So let's say short, because that's dominant, we'll call that capital E, and floppy, we'll call that the recessive small e. And we say there are 653 individuals in a population, 104 rabbits have floppy ears, and 549 have short ears. And there were a total of 653 rabbits in the population. Okay, so what we do is we uh, divide those and convert them into a percentage, and the percentage is just the uh, point zero whatever it is, so it is just that divided by that. And this one ends up as uh, 0 0.16, and this one ends up as 0 0.84. All right, and then we have to work out all the details of it such as what are the frequencies of the dominant allele P, what are the frequencies of the recessive allele Q, and then remember this P squared is the frequency of homozygous dominant individuals, and this is the frequency of heterozygous, and this of course is the frequency of homozygous recessive. So let's have a look what we can find. So. We've got, this is the frequency of these, so P squared, or Q squared. Q squared is the homozygous recessive. Here are the homozygous recessive ones. All right, so Q squared equals 0 0.16. And so Q equals the square root of 0 0.16. And that, of course, Q equals 0 0.40. So... That is the frequency of the recessive allele, small e, the recessive allele for floppy ears. And 0 0.4, that means 40% of the alleles in this population are for floppy ears, which is a lot more than you'd think from just looking at the 0 0.16, the 16% that actually have floppy ears. So most of those rabbits that have floppy ears, they have their allele for floppy ears, they're recessive, masked by the dominant because they're heterozygous. All right, once we've got Q, we can fairly easily find P, because P plus Q equals 1, P equals 1, take Q. If Q is 0 0.4, then P is 0 0.60. So the frequency of P, 0, 0 0.60, the frequency of Q, 0 0.40. Now, to work out the frequency of homozygous dominant and heterozygous individuals, all we have to do is plug these values into this formula. We already know Q squared, that was 0 0.16. Now we have to work out the frequency of P squared, the homozygous dominant, and uh, 2PQ, which is the frequency of heterozygous individuals. So let's do that now. P squared equals 0 0.60 squared. 6, 6 is a 36, so p squared equals 0 0.36. And then, to work out the, uh, and that's the frequency of capital E, capital E, the homozygous dominant. Then we can work out the frequency of, of heterozygous individuals by, well, the frequency of those, I should write a little f there, but I haven't got much space, equals 2 p Q equals 2 times the frequency of P times the frequency of Q, 6 4s are 24, times 2 equals 0 0.48. So looking at this, we've got the frequency of um, homozygous dominant, 0 0.36, 
the frequency of heterozygous 0.48 and of course the very first thing we worked out the frequency of the uh, homozygous recessive is these so let's have a look at writing those down and I just have to work out um, the next part which is uh, whether the um, the population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. In other words, whether the frequencies stay roughly the same in the next generations. So P is 0 0.6, Q is 0 0.4, uh, homozygous dominant was 0 0.36, and let's get rid of the rest of it. Q was 0 0.16, I'm glad I remembered that, and this was 0 0.48, the frequency of heterozygous individuals. So we'll just leave those there so we can work out the next part of the question, or it's in fact a separate question, uh, question 4. So the next generation of rabbits, I'm reading it off my laptop again, has 560 individuals with short ears and 840 individuals with floppy ears. So we've got floppy, we'll do that first. And um, no, we'll do short first, because that's the dominant, isn't it? So 560 individuals with short ears, 840 individuals with, uh, with floppy ears. So we can immediately see so there's a lot more floppy uh, eared ones than short ears, which is not the case at the beginning of this, where we had this many with uh, short ears and only 16% with floppy ears. So this has changed, so we can be pretty sure that the Hardy Weinberg equilibrium is not being met. And so what we get here, that means there's 1400, obviously I worked out this before, of each of these. And we work out the, um, the frequencies of those simply by doing this division sum, and this ends up being 0 0.4. And this one, the, uh, the frequency of floppy-eared ones, ends up being 0 0.6. It's a reversal, kind of, of what it was before. But let's have a look at what we've got here. So with the floppy ears, this is q squared equals 0 0.60. So Q is the square root of 0 0.60, and if I find out what that is, that is 0 0.775. So Q is 0 0.775. That means to find P, because P plus Q equals 1, P equals, uh, what's that, 1 take Q equals 1 minus 0 0.775 equals... 0 0.2 something or other, what is it? 2, 2, 5. So things have changed a great deal. So whereas P used to be 0 0.6, it is now um, 0 0.225. Q is uh, now a lot more than it used to be. And so the frequencies of these genes have altered a great deal. Why? Well, Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium is not being met, so one of those five conditions that we looked at at the beginning of this series isn't working. So, mating might not be random. There might be immigration or emigration of a certain part of the population. There might be something that's causing females to only choose males with apparently floppy ears have suddenly become sexy. I don't know why. But here we have a situation where the floppy-eared alleles have suddenly gone berserk. Perhaps there was some kind of disease that wiped out a number of the, the short-eared ones. Maybe the floppy-eared um, allele has some kind of uh, protection against some kind of pathogen. We don't know. Maybe females, as we said before, suddenly found floppy ears absolutely irresistible and just ignored all the short-eared bunnies. But whatever's happened, Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium conditions are not being met, so this population is no longer at equilibrium. Okay, I hope that helps. That does three and four for you. All you have to do is copy down the stuff I've done here, and then do one and two, and then lastly five and six, which is another pair of these. Uh, find the frequencies and then decide whether the Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium is being continued on to the next generation.
Okay, good luck with your second week of COVID-19, isolation, and I hope you're having a reasonable time.